so hello guys and welcome to our channel simple random knowledge so from today we are starting videos on solidworks tutorials so if you like our videos please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon near it so let's start solidworks this kind of interface will be open in front of you so here is a file option then view tool and help option if you want to start a new drawing then click on new option which is the shortcut given here so after pressing this option this kind of pop up will be open the, there is a part then there is assembly and there is a drawing basically you can make a part then assembly of that part and then make a drawing from it so we are going to start with a part drawing so click on the part and then click on the ok button so after clicking the ok button this kind of interface will be open in front of you so so these are some options first of all you need to set the units before starting your drawing so here we have selected the millimeter option so there are the many options like meter centimeter millimeters and inches so we select a millimeter then here are some shortcuts given here i will come to these shortcuts afterwards so first of all here is the tree chart so first we are need to select the plane after selecting the front plane this kind of pop up will be open in front of you where you get a sketch option then show option then zoom to section and normal to first we need to click on normal to so the plane will be open normal to our view so uh, after selecting the plane here are the options related to sketch so first we are going to start with the line so after selecting the line there are three options that comes in front of you like a line then center line then midpoint line so after selecting the line here the symbol of origin can comes in front of you so we start our line from the origin some distance and then we press the escape button so you see here the black color line will come in front of you that shows your drawing is fully defined that shows your line is fully defined actually and if you see i select the line and i will draw a line at a side which is not at relation to an origin so you can see the color difference like here is a black color and here is a blue color the blue color shows that the line is not fully defined and the black color shows that line is fully defined so we need to make a sketch fully defined every time so how to make this line fully defined so press on this line press vertical or horizontal according to you i will select the vertical so line gets vertical then to your line is not fully defined so click on the smart dimension options then click on line and then click on origin so here you will get a distance option you can see the color of line has changed so after selecting the desired distance you can see the line gets fully defined so now we start the next type of line that is center line so you can see first we select the plane that is front plane and if you draw a center line from any point then you can see there is dotted line so this kind of line is mostly used for a construction purpose so that's with the center line and you can see the relation over here which is the horizontal so if you want to make this line fully defined uh, give the relation or uh, give the distance from the origin then that line gets fully defined so here we go line gets fully defined so talking about the next type of line that we have with us is a uh, midpoint line so what is the purpose of midpoint line so again we uh, select a plane over here and if we draw a midpoint line from the origin then you can see the line gets drawn at the both side of origin so that's the main purpose of midpoint line as we have drawn this line on the origin so you can see the by default this line get fully defined but you can see these points are not fully defined because we have not the given the dimension to this line so after once we give the dimension to this line as 150 so here we go you can see both the points get black in color so that's all with the first video so stay tuned with our channel and if you like the videos please uh, hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon thank you